Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Fabric Espresso. As usual, this is Philip, and this time we have Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin Conan, one of our senior product managers here at Microsoft, and I'm always excited to talk to you wonderful fabricators. Nice. This means that you have something special for us today, right? Indeed, I do. Today, we're going to talk about how you're able to access the data that you're storing in your data warehouse from other services within and even outside of Fabric. So one of the main promises of Fabric is that you're able to store one copy of your data. This is super important because it's easier to secure it, it's easier to manage it, and you don't have to worry about multiple conflicting reports because they have different copies of the data that have been changed. So all in all, this is a super great feature. The way that we do this is the data warehouse, your data is actually being stored in Parquet format. And as you're making changes, so updates, deletes, and inserts, we generate a Delta Lake log on top of those Parquet files that you can then use to read from other services. So you could use Spark, you could use Power BI Direct Lake mode, you could even have a shortcut going into your real-time analytics with this data. The other really important piece here is that when you make a change to your data in the warehouse, it's available for those other services within one minute of the transaction committing. So it's not exactly real time, but it's really close to real time, which means that your reports and your collaborations are gonna be in near real time. So with that, why don't we go ahead and jump into a demo, Philip, so that we can better show what all this means and how it works together. Sure, but let me first understand this. So Fabric, when you ingest the data into Fabric, into a warehouse, it ends up in a one lake, right? And now you're saying that we can use some other service, uh, non-Microsoft service, any service in the world to actually read the data from those tables in our warehouse, right? Absolutely. Yeah, because we're using the open source Delta Lake format, if you have a service that can read Delta Lake files, you're good to go. Great. Show us the demo, please. Awesome. Let's go ahead. All right. So here we are inside of our Fabric Espresso uh, warehouse that we've created in the past. And here is the color table that we have used in the past uh, that has six records in it with the three primary and three secondary colors. What I did ahead of time here to help out is inside of my lake house, I've created a shortcut already that points to that exact same table. And if I click onto that table, give this a moment to load the preview. And you can see that it has the same six records. So this data is not stored in the lake house, it is stored in the warehouse, but the lake house is able to read it through the Delta Lake log. So if I go back into the warehouse here again, and if I do a new SQL query, just a new SQL query, and if we go to delete from color, oops, where, aim equals blue and we run this okay so it went through and it deleted my record so you can see one records affected now before i go back to the lake house to show you uh, that it's been updated there let me first go into One Lake Explorer so that I can show you the Delta Lake logs and the Parquet files there. So here we are in One Lake Explorer and you can see my Fabric Espresso data warehouse. If I go into my data warehouse and if I go inside of tables and into my DBO schema, you can see my color table. Inside of my color table, we have the data folder. So this is going to be where all of my parquet files are that make up the table. If I go back to color and go into Delta log, here you can see all of the Delta Lake logs that we have created 
So you'd be able to use an, uh, any system that can read Delta Lake to access these log files to tell it to which Parquet files it needs to read. And with that, let's go ahead and jump back to the lake house so that we can show you that blue is no longer going to be displayed in the lake house. So here we are back in the lake house, and as you can see, blue is now no longer displaying here. So we deleted blue from the warehouse, and when we came back into the lake house, it's reflecting the current data for the warehouse. Awesome, Kevin. So you showed us a way to read any warehouse table from any other service, not only Microsoft service, not Fabric, just any service, right? Yep, as long as that other service can read Delta Lake logs, right? So like in the demo that we showed you, is we had a warehouse table and we performed DML, so we did a delete. And we also support updates and inserts to the tables. And we publish out those changes and then we're able to read it from the lake house through the Delta Lake logs that we published. Great. So if you like the content, please share, like, and subscribe. And as usual, this is Philip. This was Kevin. Thanks a lot, Fabricators.